What's up guys? Welcome back to Beaker's Lab. Today we're going to do a little bit of everything. I'm going to start out with some farming. And I'm going to do that, uh, I'm going to live record it while I'm raiding and see how that goes. Uh, it's kind of hard to do. Uh, the game can get glitchy and the recording can get glitchy sometimes. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. So we're just going to do my usual, actually not my usual, we're going to do... Uh, Three barracks of archers, one barrack of barbs, and we're going to fill up with uh, minions as well. So so we're doing full on bam. I got 30-something uh, minions uh, with, you know, the normal barch. So, it's a little faster cook time, of course. And uh, I wasn't going to boost today because uh, I had stuff going on. So, just going to do that to speed things up. So here, kind of doing this to show you how long I search. Uh, I search an awful lot lately. Uh, I don't know how you guys have been. I've heard uh, some people saying that loot's been rough, but you know everyone's in different cup ranges, really. So it's not like we can all come to a conclusion that every range is bad. But uh, that's kind of what I've been hearing. Um, normally, it, you know, I can get a good base within like five or ten searches um, and like you know that that's a mediocre one right there I could have gotten those storages it just would have taken all my troops uh, a rage spell and my heroes probably would have gotten hurt <clears throat> and you know that's not always worth it unless it's 300 to 400 K gold that's what I you know would do that for so Still searching, you know, a lot of people have good bases now. Look at this guy, he's got tons of lava walls. I see that a lot now. Um, the game's really progressed a lot. I'd say common bases are that one right there, like uh, maxed Town Hall 10 defenses with uh, level 9 walls. I mean, this freaking noob's got uh, level 11 walls. So, you know, it's nice to see good bases, uh, good base progression, you know, good designs. Uh, the game's come a long way since I started. But, you know, there's still preemies out there. There's still terrible base designs. There's still people stuck in Master 3. They, they think they're pushing, but they can't get any higher. Um, you know, <laughs> if you're like a, a lower Town Hall, that's fine. But if you've jammed your way to a max Town Hall 10, you should be able to get, uh, get pretty high. Anyway, still searching. This sucks. I don't think I'm going to uh, record like this anymore because... We've spent two minutes so far searching. Oh, and just as I say that, here we go. So this isn't isn't an ideal base, but uh, I can get those ones at the top easy. I can probably get 50% easy, and I can just bum rush through the bottom with my heroes and uh, get those storages. <clears throat> they are my heroes are going to get really hurt. They might even die because they're going to meet uh, his heroes. But let's do it, man. Um, I don't really have any other options right now, so, you know, 240k is going to have to do. So, I love to take out mortars, uh, with minions. Um, so, right there, mortar on the corner, perfect. Just throw a couple minions down. Um, if you take out mortars, your barbs and archers are going to have a, a lot easier time. Point defenses, you know, cannons, archer towers... They don't really do that much to a huge swarm of barbs and archers. They can only shoot so fast. So, <clears throat> now I'm set. Uh, no other splash defenses are in range, really. And, uh, gonna throw barbs, archers, and then some minions, too. Um, with BAM, I, uh, kinda like to just mix them all in like that. Barbs, archers, and then minions. Um, especially when you're going on heavy buildings like storages. The minions also come in real handy for picking off things that <clears throat> aren't covered by air, by any sort of air defense. So, in the beginning of the raid, I did that. Um, so here we go. Let's go right up the middle with everything we got and see how it goes. Yeah, see, the video was glitching there. I think that's because I'm live raiding. Alright, not a lot of troops left, so I'm going to drop my CC. Heroes are doing good. Everybody's in the rage bell. Uh, probably some bombs there. Yep, there's a bomb. Took out almost all my shit. Oh, there goes the rest. So, not doing real good. Once your heroes get uh, by themselves, their days are numbered. Uh, 
they get hit real hard. BK getting hit real hard right there and goes down. Nope, there he goes down. And uh, Archer Queen luckily has the ability and doesn't have a lot of distractions. If there was anything around that could have distracted her, it would have because she's dumb, man. You know, I'm not trying to be sexist. It's nothing about women. She's just dumb. Um, I, you know, I, I saw some replays today. I think I included one in this video where, you know, Archer Queen tends to shoot at walls a lot, even if there's nothing in the wall. I think it's if she starts shooting at the wall when there is something behind it, and then that thing behind it might get destroyed, but she keeps going. Oh, here we see uh, one of my clanmates, Alex, is uh, in a raid right now. Let's check it out. Uh, we missed the beginning, which is kind of the fun part, but he seems to have done pretty well here. He already got the town hall, which was off center, but uh, he did good. Um, Go wee wee, I think, with a with a jump spell. He did use the jump spell pretty early. That'd be my only critique. He probably could have gotten in that far with wall breakers and then used the jump here to go further. I think that's the best part of the jump spell. The the good three stars I've seen lately have used the jump spell to, to kind of like go through the core of the base and then use it at the end and jump out of the base. Uh, I thought that was pretty cool because you can't really get wall breakers you know three quarters of the way through the base to hit a wall. They're, they're not going to do that. But you can put a jump wherever you want and it kind of attracts your troops and uh, will you know funnel them over the wall you want. So it's worth trying. Um, that's the hardest part of the three star I think is breaking walls once you get through the core you know you got a lot of walls to break and you might not have a lot of troops left so uh, something else weird happened this war I'm um, looking for it right now my clan mate Ron he uh, I'm, I'm almost sure this was this was some exploit hack that the other clan used um, he uh, started he dropped like one or two troops and then instantly got disconnected. The raid played out for another three minutes, but uh, he was he he'd been disconnected and he lost. I'll show that in a little bit. Right now we've got me raiding their number three uh, base, doing pretty well here so far. But uh, that inferno is pretty annoying. Uh, having him near the outside wall there forces you to use a freeze so your wall breakers can get through and uh, I, I'm not sure which is better to use a ton of wall breakers and just sacrifice some of them and save your freeze or use your freeze and uh, only have to use a couple wall breakers I don't know I haven't decided yet um, freeze is pretty valuable and you want it freezing shit when all your troops are in the middle obviously especially wizards they're real vulnerable to those infernos so I don't know I guess it matters case to case um, here we're looking pretty good for the two star three star not so much I do think this was a three star base but uh, maybe I could have done it with a jump I don't know if my troops hadn't gone really around the outside here and maybe just kept charging through the base maybe could have three starred or if I had uh, sent some troops well I did send troops but if I had used some wall breakers to go into that top point at the top of the base that big compartment um, one golem and a couple wizards maybe could have taken that out better cleared it out better and uh, helped out the fight a little bit but nevertheless, uh, heroes are down. I'm not getting a three star. I'm gonna let it ride out just to get, uh, you know, maybe get a little loot. And well, I just don't quit. <laughs> I I usually don't quit uh, wars until I have to, until my troops are dead. That's how I am. So if my heroes had lived to here, uh, especially the Archer Queen, the the witches are doing good. They're staying alive. They're putting out bunch of skeletons and there's only that well there's two splash defenses that will take them out when they get close but I think I would have had a good chance if I had, had a couple wizards and my archer queen left still 
but the world may never know. 74% good raid. Um, this is, is a close war. We're behind right now. Uh, we got a lot of attacks left, but it was a good clan, although, as I mentioned, I, I think they were doing some shenanigans. Uh, they had that disconnect. A couple people got disconnected. That wasn't just the one guy, Ron, I was saying. And, uh, I don't know, some, some people were saying they might have been using Sandbox to find out traps because, you know, they tended to attack from perfect spots in the base. But that's okay. I'm not, not going to be a sore loser. Um, in the end, we'll win by merit. Um, you know, we'll win if we're the better team. So, here's a great raid by Sith. He's the man. Uh, awesome attacker. It's funny, this base, this guy he's attacking is the lowest person in their clan. He's, uh, he's number 40 out of 40, but if you look closely, it's because he's basically a Town Hall 9. He's a max Town Hall 9. Um, I didn't see his heroes. I'm not sure if they were 30. They probably were, though. But either way, he has, uh, he has all maxed Town Hall 9 walls. So he very well could have been uh, a recently maxed Town Hall 9 who just upgraded, got Infernos. So he's ranked pretty low in the clan uh, war ranking. It seems to wait most heavily on infernos and then other defenses you know probably goes infernos expos and then down to other town hall 10 defenses so you know that's why he's ranked so low um it's kind of <laughs> it's kind of scary to see their lowest guy be uh, be a sick looking base like this but it looks intimidating walls look intimidating but in the end you know they don't do that much hey here we got a, a great example Archer Queen and some wizards shooting a wall with nothing in it. Thanks, guys. It's fucking awesome. So, troops rounded the base and cleaned up real good. Good job, Sith. Awesome raid. That guy's good for three stars a lot. Um, it's good to have those people in your clan that can just, you know, they're almost always going to get two star and uh, consistently get three stars. Um... Everybody needs that in their clan. That's how you win clan wars. So, I guess that's it for today, guys. Um, I'm not sure if I enjoyed doing the live raid or not. It didn't work great, but glad I tried it. So, I'll post another video tomorrow. Probably going to be on my Town Hall 8 account. See you guys.